Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, August 22nd, 2012. Uh, Bill Bing's Trumpet Talk, and tonight I wanted to bring to your attention a book that I've enjoyed looking at over the years, and uh, it's this book by Louis Davidson called Trumpet Profiles. Louis Davidson was a great trumpet player, principal trumpet player in the Cleveland Symphony, and uh, this book was published in 1975, I believe, and uh, this particular copy, if you can see, it was... Uh, was given to uh, Louis Dave, uh, to Manny Klein, the great studio trumpet player uh, who studied with Schlossberg. Uh, and uh, it says, uh, to my dear friend Manny Klein, one of the great, greatest virtuosos of all time, with tons of love and of admiration, Lou Davidson. And uh, this book is really a wonderful read because what Lou Davidson did is he sent around a questionnaire to a lot of the famous trumpet players of that time and asked them to fill out this questionnaire. And uh, for example, some of the questions in the questionnaire, what age did you start, begin to study the trumpet, teachers who had the greatest effect on your development, etc. And I'm going to uh, read just a few of the more interesting examples. Uh, for example, we'll start off, uh, shall we start off with Cat Anderson, who was a great lead trumpet player with Duke Ellington. I got an opportunity to hear the Duke Ellington Orchestra, the great Duke Ellington Orchestra, at the Coconut Grove in Los Angeles with Ella Fitzgerald, and it was one of my greatest musical memories. And Cat was playing, and he sounded so good. Great player. Um, and it says, what age did you start studying the trumpet? Cat Anderson started playing the trumpet at the age of seven. His uh, influences, Louis Armstrong, Johnny Hodges, Harry Carney, and Rafael Mendez. And uh, he, uh, want to guess how much he practiced every day? Cat Anderson, the great lead trumpet player, says he practiced six hours a day. On a day of performance, he says he played four hours practice. And a free day, he played for four hours and used the B-flat trumpet exclusively. Maurice André. Here is uh, Maurice André's uh, uh, questionnaire as he filled out. It's so nice because... All these questionnaires were copied, and so that it's in the trumpet player's hand who filled them out. And uh, I, my French is not so good. I apologize. Mais ce n'est pas nécessaire pour moi parler en français parce que vous parlez anglais. Oui, that's all I know in French, but it serves me well. Uh, in any case, uh, Maurice André, uh, want to guess, uh, he, he listened to violinists, pianists, and organists. As a student, how much did you practice per day? And want to guess how much Maurice practiced per day as a student? Four hours. And uh, on a free day, uh, as a professional artist, how much do you practice? Three to six hours. And on a day of a performance, one hour. Uh, Maurice Andre's mouthpieces, according to this, uh, for the Brandenburg, he played a Selmer I. On uh, the uh, B flat piccolo, he used a 7DW Bach and a one and a half C Bach on all the other horns. So let's move ahead now to some of the other uh, trumpet players of uh, interest probably would be, let's see, how about Timothy Dockschitzer, the great uh, trumpet uh, virtuoso player, uh, who I had the good fortune to take one lesson with, and uh, one lesson with Dockschitzer really helped my playing. So if there's a great trumpet player near you, uh, take a lesson, even one lesson, you may find that it helps you a great deal. Uh, Timothy Dockschitzer. At what age did Timothy Dockschitzer start playing? He started at the age of 10. And by the way, I'm never quite sure how to spell Timothy Dockschitzer, but here, that's the way he filled it out, D-O-K-S-H-I-Z-E-R. And uh, he admired singers, pianists, and he names uh, uh, Richter, conductors, composers, uh, and violinists, David Oistrakh. Uh, other performers, uh, how much as, as a student did you practice the trumpet? Dimitri Dorchertzer said he practiced not more than two and a half hours three times a day. So he used a mouthpiece, a very interesting. Uh, Dorchertzer used a 7E. So I found that interesting as well. Maynard Ferguson, we'll do uh, maybe one more. Maynard Ferguson, at what age did Maynard start playing the trumpet? Want to take a guess? nine years old and his teachers were Benny Baker and Ray Wetzel and uh, he also admired greatly uh, Yasha Heifetz. As a student 
uh, do you want to guess how many hours of practice Maynard did during the day? And he said, he answered by saying, at the age of 13, I was working seven nights a week. And in parentheses, he says, always laughing, no dedication. And then he says, six to eight hours a day. So his mouthpiece was no grip, V-shape, 19 hole. He says his own design. Daily, he said he played, besides the trumpet, trombone, valve, and slide, baritone, flugel, and pocket trumpet. So uh, it, this book is just a wonderful book. It goes on with Gitalo, who was one of my teachers. Gitalo studied with Vacchiano and Joseph Gustat. And he also admired uh, Del Stegers and, and Bill Vacchiano, Clark Terry, Harry James, Maynard Ferguson, uh, and uh, also Gitalo says he admired uh, Pearl Bailey, Ella Fitzgerald, Primrose, Piatigorsky, Rubenstein, Heifetz, and Caruso. And as a student, you want to take a guess on how much the great trumpet player Amanda Gitalo played, uh, practiced. First trumpet player in the Boston Symphony for many years. At jury, Juilliard, he practiced says, three to six hours a day. On a day of a performance, he limited his practicing to a half hour to an hour and a half. And on a free day, he would practice one to three and a half hours. He uses the C almost exclusively, and uh, he uses about, he says, a one and one quarter C Bach. But I remember one thing about uh, Italy, he had a mouthpiece belt. They used to have different mouthpieces he could switch off and on. One more, these are so great. Dizzy Gillespie. What age did Dizzy Gillespie start playing the trumpet? Twelve. And uh, Shorty Hall was his teacher. He admired Ray Eldridge and Charlie Parker. You can certainly hear it in his playing and in other areas of music. Maurice Andre. Uh, and as a student, how many hours a day do you suppose Dizzy Gillespie practiced? He says he practiced, and I believe it, as many as possible. And uh, he used a, a Alcas a Special, which I've seen, and uh, they're quite valuable now if you can get an Alcas Dizzy Gillespie model. So, uh, main history of uh, jazz trumpet and influences King Oliver, Louis Armstrong, Ray Eldridge, Dizzy Gillespie, Fats Navarro, Miles Davis, and Clifford Brown. That's in Dizzy's own writing right here. Boy, it would be good if I <laughs> learned how to use the camera, wouldn't it? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> That's enough for today. That's just only up to the G's. Next one is Harry Glantz. Maybe I'll do this uh, again tomorrow. Uh, and uh, hopefully you find it uh, fun to listen to and uh, perhaps learn a few things in the process. That's enough for today. Thanks for listening. And uh, as Manny Klein used to say to all his friends, he said, keep blowing. Take care. Bye-bye.